Here's what we don't want to see happen in our retirement plan. Everybody agrees and already knows that, but what some people might not know is that that was caused by a seemingly insignificant change to that plan. And if it goes unchecked, it can actually have a drastic impact. It's kind of like that idea of the plane taking off. And if it's only one degree off course, if the pilot doesn't make a course correction, then that drift gets wider and wider and they end up in a completely different place than they, they want it to be, almost uh, unknowingly or it seems insignificant. Uh, I believe the, the, from San Francisco trying to get to Washington DC with just a one degree difference, it ends up about 42 miles off course at the end of that course. So the goal of this video is to just make sure that you're aware and you know when it makes sense to course correct so that what we just looked at at the beginning of this video, it doesn't happen to you. And then I'm gonna give you some great tools to, to use so that you can avoid this. And if I haven't met you yet, I'm Dave Zoller and I've been helping people retire for over 14 years. And a big secret to their success is doing just three things at the beginning of their retirement plan. It's setting up three mini plans we sometimes call them. It's the income plan, the investment plan, and then the tax reduction plan. And today we're just gonna be focusing on the income plan. And if you're watching this and, and your advisor mainly focuses just on the investment side of things, and you're starting to realize that there's more important things, those three that we, we talked about, uh, then click on the get started button below, and then that'll bring you to our website. And, and uh, or actually there's a get started button on our website. So let's look at this. First, we're gonna look at the income plan and then what's causing the drift to happen. And then some ideas and tools to make sure that you don't wind up far off course or far away from your desired destination. So what makes that difference? We're gonna look at an example here and uh, look at a few different changes to this plan. And it might be surprising because the main thing, the one, the one change is, uh, the difference here is spending of, a spending difference of 8% or a little more than $900 per month. So this is someone who ha has a need, uh, expense need per year of $140,000. And that 8% difference is uh, really, th that's what the expected retirement expense was, but what it actually ended up being. And you can kind of see the impact. If it goes unchecked, what happens? It's a big difference. So that's just a difference of about a little bit more than $900 a month. Now you might be thinking, well, 8% of 140,000, that's a big number, but you really see a similar result, even with someone with 500K in savings. And let's look at that next. So here's someone with 500,000 saved and they're getting social security of $30,000 a year and they only need to take 10,000 from their investment. So their expenses are 40K that first year of retirement. And if they were only off by 8% or about 3,200, the result could look like this. Now, this isn't meant to scare you because we'll go over some simple things that you can do now to just make sure that uh, your plan doesn't end up looking this way. And also remember, we're focused solely on changing just one factor in retirement for this, this case that we're looking at. It's just expenses. In reality, there's gonna be many factors that can be adjusted, positive, negative, to improve it and make it look better or make it look worse. But one thing I wanted to show you before we move on to, to some of the tools is just the impact of what maybe not a small recurring expense has over the lifetime of a plan, but what about a big expense in just one year? Let's just see how that impacts things. So up until this point, we were looking at the impact of these recurring expenses on the retirement income plan, but how about this big expense? Well, we can see here if we added a 100K, this is back to the person who needs 140,000 per year. If they took 100K in one year, 2025, we can see it has an impact, but it's not crashing the plan and it's not making quite as big an impact as, uh, as that recurring ongoing expense. And here's just an example of another one in 2045 of 100K. Again, it might not be the one-time expenses that uh, are the issue for retirement plans, but it's really about just getting those, those uh, annual recurring expenses right in the beginning of retirement. Next, I'm going to go over some specific retirement expenses that people don't always think about. And then I'll have some insight into improving your income plan. But first, let me know if these kinds of videos are, are helpful. The ones with actual examples, uh, let me know just by clicking the, the like button. That way it helps me understand what's most helpful to you so that I could do more of them. And then also, if you have any scenarios or examples that you'd like to see modeled out, let me know in the comments below. So what are some of the expenses that people don't always think about when they're designing their income plan? 
Well, number one is having to support a family member in retirement. You know, you see this sometimes with parents who are getting near to the end of their life and they need support, or sometimes it's kids who, who need support as well. Another big one that uh, people think about, but they don't always model out in their plan is the last few years of your own life and possibility of having in-home care or maybe assisted living need. That could be quite costly the last few years of life. The many people that we work with, they're able to self-insure and they don't need long-term care insurance, but it's at least modeling out either way just to see some of the what-if scenarios in your plan. So now what's the insight? What are the tools we can use to just make sure we're doing the right thing moving forward as we're planning retirement? Well, the obvious one is not to just guess at what our expenses are. It's really important to invest time into making sure that we're thinking through really what retirement expenses are gonna look like. It's the needs and the wants. A tool that I like that, uh, that helps do this in an automated way is mint.com. I believe it's an Intuit company now, but that software, it can track your expenses automatically and then it actually can categorize them automatically as well. So you can see where your money is going at the end of each month and at the end of each year. And we've seen quite a few clients use this uh, a few years before they retire to just make sure that they've got the right numbers and they're thinking through all of these different expenses that we sometimes don't always think about. And there are also manual ways to do this if, uh, with tracking expenses. You know, if you're more of a spreadsheet person and, and you love to live in that world, that's, that's a possibility as well. Another idea that you can use is once you have a guess at what your monthly income need might be in retirement, you can do what we would call sort of like a, a retirement dress rehearsal, which means rather than having the full paycheck come into your bank, and let me just draw this uh, really quickly, Rather than having uh, the full paycheck go to your regular bank, where usually you'd have a surplus and you might be saving or uh, putting investments or whatever it might be, think about a retirement dress rehearsal where maybe you have your paycheck go to a separate bank and then once a month you have a smaller amount, maybe that retirement income number go to your regular bank and then see what it's like living off that smaller number, not the big retirement pay or not the big paycheck that you're used to, but a smaller number just to see what it feels like. It just gives you an idea or, or a way to test out retirement income well before you're retired. Now, I realize that looking at these income plans and seeing how a small change to expenses can uh, and spending can really make a big difference on the success of a plan. But here is the good news: you're in a plane that can adjust, right? You know that. Uh, Carl Richards drawing of uh, getting from here to there. It's not a straight line. You're in a plane that can adjust when you need to. You have the ability to adjust your plan and your course and how much you're spending or how much you're withdrawing. We're not the people that are gonna set it and forget it. And getting your plan set is important, but honestly, it's not that valuable. The plan isn't the valuable thing because life changes, right? The most valuable thing is that process of planning. Having a plan that adapts when your life changes is really critical to your retirement success. But it takes work. If you really wanna optimize those three plans, the, the income plan, the tax plan, and the investment plan, it, uh, it takes time. And many clients choose to work with us because they might have things they'd rather be doing rather than monitoring and updating and implementing these strategies involved in those, those three parts of retirement. But for now, Let's keep educating ourselves so that we can keep making your retirement better. One way to do that is to watch these videos on the screen uh, that, that'll help make your retirement better. And I hope this one was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.